you may be afraid of standing out, putting yourself out there because you've lost connection with your spirit. True. I feel like you grew up in a time when the brainwash was prominent where you were being indoctrinated powerfully in the time when you were being told to line up in a queue and it was strict, very strict, like 70s to 90s. When going to school, you know, rules, laws, it, it, it made you deny your own instincts to trust yourself. Yeah. You are afraid of standing out because at those times, the ones who thought differently, even at a young age in school, were targeted and pointed out as it is a part of the system and ridiculed for being different. And it's a part of the mentality as we grow into adults. Afraid of being chastised because of the programming of schooling and society, right? <laughs> I feel like I lost that, but something like that. Because it really just feels like um, being raised in a time where if you did something d differently, everyone would notice and you know, it's like growing up in a time where even like growing up as adults, you're afraid to to speak differently, to choose different, apart from the crowd. Like, what political party are you voting for? And if you feel differently, you wouldn't say it because the programming has been embedded, even in school, of what it means to be different. So you're afraid of standing out because of that. What the onlookers will see, the eyes, the anxiety, the energy. <laughs> but hear what now? Hmm. You have learned. It's unexplainable. Because you've never really lost connection to your ancestors. You've always walked connected. I feel you. I feel you. You've con you've connected to. I don't know. Maybe you've walked on graves before. But something about the sole of your feet, and the, your 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 essence, your spirit. It's always true. Something like that. And I feel you're going to come to find. You raise your head. And you stand out. You're coming to find you've never really lost your spirit, your guidance from your true ancestors. It's always been. And what you think was too much around you to deal with mentally, physically, the anxiety is all that it is for you to become the one that maybe stands out among the crowd to issue your gift your gift is realized as you get a bigger perspective of who you are in the crowd as you are and you get that through your connection to your ancestry angels spirits guides your intuition even though you couldn't even see yourself and maybe you didn't even want to see your own reflection oh that time it, you were still, it's almost like the stream of soul source never stopped flowing to you. You've always been maybe emotional or you've always been a dreamer. So something that always, or you've always had a grandmother that speaks to you in a certain way or a spiritual guide around you. You know what I mean? Maybe you grew up in a certain culture. 
you know, that taught you certain things about spirituality, even though maybe you weren't, you thought you weren't listening, but you were still being fed the information, the knowledge. You know what I mean? So, there's coming a time when you're putting yourself forth. And those who want what you have will come for it. They will meet you where you are giving and what you have to give. And those who don't meet you won't meet you. You know what I mean? So someone may be speaking to you, you may be receiving a message, something about a gentle touch, like a feather across the hairs of your skin, kind of feeling, oh, maybe a sensation, like a cold feeling, maybe goosebumps. It's the energy of someone in the other realm thinking of you or touching you, but you're, they're not physically there. That kind of feeling with the Jack of Hearts. I feel like you are feeling something about yourself right now. It's it's could be love. Could be gratitude. Feel thankful. I feel someone wants to come around to you with a message, like literally. Or this happened in the past. Or maybe the past is coming back around with a message, probably a loved one, a love message. But this person feels, <laughs> why am I laughing at that? And that's not funny. That's, come on. This person feels like they're walking with, like they're walking, oh my goodness. Like they're walking with an axe in their head. They're like, you can see there. And I feel like they have a horrible headache. Maybe someone has something for you. I feel like you're receiving messages or inspiration or you're open to messages. We have six, seven, eight. A confession. Maybe this person has a confession, but it's what? Or something about how they speak. They have something to say, but they're not. They're afraid to fully express themselves as they are. Oh yeah, so someone is sending you a message. Could be a voice note. Maybe something they're going to speak. Okay. Or they are leaving it now. What does this have to do with you putting yourself out there? Remember when I said that those who want what you have to give, they will come to you and they will love what you have. So I feel like that is what the Jack of Hearts is representing. Here, you may be getting some messages of some valuable, good feeling messages that's gonna put a smile on your face. All right, so this could be about work, about service, about just anything that's making you feel good, or it can be about money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like that, but it feels like silver, like coins. What is that? Like it, it's going in a slot. 
in a way it's gonna make you smile because it's like it's not validation it's it makes you feel found or seen why not putting yourself out there is because you've been afraid of standing out but I do believe you have what it takes they, like that that strong guidance from what we call your ancestors you know those energies of people who just do what they do and they do it powerfully and come out victorious I feel like you're setting yourself apart from the crowd remember we were talking about the crowd mentality because you have found that root energy ancestors healing family your true spirit your gift so it makes you stand out it makes you emerge that's the word when you emerge you appear as someone that has something to bring because you've had you found your gift okay and then this energy feels like What happens because you found your gift? It just feels emotional. And then, <clears throat> yeah, that's that. So now the energy that you're in, maybe you're receiving messages or you're sending messages or you're creating, you're focusing upon what you want. There could be something, someone coming around to you, an alignment, a connection, or you're just receiving a message or some notification of something that I feel putting a smile on your face as you realize something that you're a part of something. It makes you feel that you're a part of something that's soulful to you. You know what I mean? And then the end result is the Ten of Cups, which for me is that dream come true energy. Like your wish has been granted. The promise has been kept. And I think that has to do with. A feeling that you've. It's really about this gift. That you have. And whatever promise being kept. Having to do with your happiness. Celebration. Family. Love. All of that. For you. Coming in. Oh maybe that's what the jack is. It's like it's coming in. For you. Because maybe before you felt like there wasn't enough of that energy, love, ar surrounding you. You know, there is a lot of this and that. But then you emerge from all this future, fucking ideologies and stupidness. And then you learn to forgive. You learn certain techniques, arts. And you learn to rely upon yourself. So you break away from certain spells and chains. And you emerge. Victorious. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then on this page I have. Father put in your heart. Put in your heart. Look at that. And then we have the three of wands. Which is the energy or the spirit of family, home, ancestors. Or the tree of life. Roots. Creating life family all of that so your dream is coming true all right leaving those messages right there for you thank you for tuning in and i do hope you found some that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey much love to you and thank you for being here on your way out hit like share subscribe comment and much love goes out to all three thousand odd of you really really appreciate it i love you all so much for wheels all right so remember that you're all and all is within you take it easy out there